Good morning. Uh, last night I was looking on the internet and I found this data sheet. And it's a uh, EGS0002 Sinusoidal Inverter Driver Board User Manual. Well, data sheet user manual, whatever. And it took me interest because this is what they use in inverters, pure sine wave inverters, and it's the driver board that controls the sine wave and controls the MOSFETs or BJTs to give you the output. And it took my interest because I recall seeing something like this in my inverter when I had to repair it because I got water in it. And I used actually one of the circuit diagrams that they have to sort of trace out where the beat goes. The BJTs, one of the BJTs had blown. I used this circuit diagram here to find the BJT that was affected. But reading through it, it's got pins and jumpers, and at the bottom here, it's got a number of settings that you can use. I'll zoom in a bit. So down here it's got when JP2 is shorted it enables a three second soft start, soft start and when JP6 is shorted it disables the soft start. Now that has to pique my interest because the soft start on an inverter basically ramps up the AC waveform slowly when you first turn it on um, instead of giving it like an instant output as if you were to flick a switch on a normal socket. Uh, the idea of this is it gives the you know whatever you're running a bit of you know a softer start up so it does less damage you know makes it wear out less. But I'm having issues with that with my automatic transfer switch where it causes the relay to bounce. I'll give you a quick demonstration as to what the soft start is. So my inverter currently has soft start enabled. So I'm going to turn it on now, and you should see the light gradually turn on instead of turn on instantly. So light turn it on or inverter turn it on. So hopefully you saw then that the light ramped up slowly and didn't turn on straight away. You know, to it's all increased in brightness. You know, this is an LED bulb, so it should turn on instantly. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to turn that feature off in my inverter if I've got that board fitted and short at them jumpers. So let's have a look. So this is my inverter. Um, all I've got to do is take it apart and see if that board's inside. So it's a clamshell design. So two screws here, two screws at the back. It should split open, so we'll give that a go now. So this is with the uh, clamshell open, so you can see all the circuit boards. So in the back here you've got the high voltage DC to DC converter, so it takes the 24 volts in and converts it up to 300-ish volts, something silly anyway. And then the front, the front end here is your uh, sine wave driver, so you've got your BJTs down here, which is actually the output. And here is that circuit board that we have online. So hopefully if we pull it out, we should be able to adjust it. So here we go. So I am working on this still connected, so I've got to be a little bit careful that I don't do anything really stupid. You could argue this is quite stupid. Right, it appears to be stuck. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I think it's glued in. I might need to disconnect the, the input supply. Ah, other thing I'll note, I've just spotted. That capacitor doesn't look too healthy, does it? Hmm, we might need to have some repairs here. That is a very poor capacitor. Wow, I mean, yeah. So I've got the driver board out and it is the same as what's on the internet, so we can do the mod. So I'll show, uh, show out them um, jumpers which are on the back here. But the other things I have noticed is probably why that capacitor's gone is because it's probably got really hot. Because the, the fan, I've noticed, the wire for the fan is just hanging loose in the case. So that's fallen off somewhere. Um, so yeah, I think a bit of fault finding might be required on this. Wasn't expecting that. But there you go, pretty, pretty worth every now and again just checking inside things to make sure they're... Because this is working fine as far as I'm concerned. So probably is worth just checking it apart every now and again just to make sure everything's still happy. Clearly they're not. As you can see here, there is indeed a short JP2. So I've got to take that solder blob off and move it over to JP6, and that will disable the soft start. So I should do that now. And there you go, I've moved the short from JP2 to JP6, and I've busted it out of a multimeter to check that 5 volts and ground aren't shorted because it's 5 volts on one side and ground on the other. So I put it back in and see what it does. So with the mod done, it's time to fit the board in again. So I'm 
the British way around it, it goes. And make sure I don't shoot anything out because this is still stupidly live. It still works, power on. Make sure the display comes up, we've got 190. Yep, on the output. Quality. So, what I'll do, because I need this inverter to run, I will put it back together again as it is, with notes taking that there is a fan broken and that I need to get a capacitor, so I need to take a note of what the capacitor is. It's a 450 microfarad at 50 volts. Oh no, sorry, it's a, what is it? It's a 68 microfarad at 50 volts. 450 volts. Okay, I'll put it around that way, you can see it then. Zoom. Oh, I am zoomed in as much as I can. Oh, there they go. So, yeah. 68 microfarads at 450 volts. So, I need to buy a new capacitor. And I'll fit that. And then we'll be back up and running again. Alright, so that's all back together again. Let's see if that made a difference. So, with stuff start now disabled, let's see if it made a difference. That should turn on instantly now. Let's turn on now. Oh yes, it's made a big difference. Let's see what it does with the relay that chatters. So down here is the relay that chatters. I'm going to flip the switch on. Now I'm going to turn the inverter on and see if it chatters. So let's listen for it. Perfect. It was just one click, which means it wasn't chattering, and it works fine. I'm very pleased with that. So all I've got to do now is repair the inverter and we're sorted. And a 68 microfarad 450 volt capacitor, £3.11p uh, t on order. Yeah, I think I need to do some maintenance on that. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.